I finally took the time over the last few weeks to go out and test as many AI tools that are supposed to help videographers, testing nearly a hundred AI tools in order to figure out which ones are truly the best. At this point, there are so many AI tools, it can almost become overwhelming to try to keep up with them. And most of them are doing very similar things. So to try to use all of them pretty much becomes a giant waste of time. So I wanted to figure out which AI tools not only are really gonna help my productivity, but also are gonna give me the possibility and give you the option Option to be able to make more money by utilizing these tools, not only for shooting content for myself, but also shooting content for other clients. Now, I'm sure you've gone down the rabbit hole that is ChatGPT, and you probably have also tried to look at other language models that work. And I have tested quite a few, and what it all comes back down to is the fact that ChatGPT it just works. It's probably my favorite AI tool that I use on a regular basis. However, what I love most about ChatGPT now is the fact that now there are actually plugins and additional tools that you can use with it in order to get more out of it. And it doesn't just help with content creation, but it can also help you in other areas of your video business. For example, one way that I use it a lot now is with this brand new plugin called Max AI. See, with Max AI, you're actually able to utilize ChatGPT throughout the entire internet. And you can use it in order to summarize stuff, but my favorite is actually to utilize it within my emails. I personally hate emails. It's like the bane of my existence. However, with Max AI, it has absolutely made my life 10 times easier. All you have to do is download the Max AI Chrome extension, and then it's gonna be able to utilize ChatGPT in whatever you're trying to do. In my case, the way I use it with email is I just highlight the entire email, and then you'll see that there's this Max AI little icon that you can click on. You can also use the Command shortcut, Command J on a Mac, and that will actually allow you to bring up your menus for Max AI. My favorite is actually to scroll down and choose reply. From there, Max AI can not only just do generic replies, like if you like the email, you don't like the email, and a few others, but you can also utilize the prompt feature in order to tell Max AI how you would like ChatGPT to actually write you a brand new email. From there, you can just copy that, add it into your email box, and it's very easy to reply to tons of emails. Whether you are a creator or you're someone who's running a business, if you struggle getting through your email inbox in order to make sure that you're getting back to all of your clients and back to all the potential brands you wanna work with, Max AI with ChatGPT is a fantastic resource. Now this next AI tool absolutely blew me away and I immediately saw how people could utilize it in order to drastically make more money in their video business. So in the past, I have worked in tons of different industries working as a video shooter. And one of the ones that I first started out in was real estate. Whenever I was shooting real estate videos, I always found that realtors would love to have voiceovers. And this is just not the case for real estate. This is the case for tons of industries, whether it's doctor's offices, educational content, or even working within restaurants, I always knew that people loved having voiceovers because it elevated the videos overall. And with 11 Labs, our next AI tool, you're absolutely going to crush it with voiceovers. See, in the past and through all of the AI tools that I've been testing, I have found that AI voiceovers they kind of suck. They all almost sound robotic and it's kind of just a mishmash of weird sounds and the inflection of the voices are almost always off. Karen, I want you to meet my new computer wife. Karen 2! <gasps> Karen 2? She's got triple the processing, all the latest software, and a sleek space age design. <laughs> the whole package! Eleven Labs somehow has figured out the solution and it sounds amazing. Hey there. Did you know that AI voices can whisper? Or do pretty much anything? Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hats because this is one bizarre sight. So here's an easy way that you can implement 11 Labs in order to actually start making more money for the videos you're already creating. So let's take that real estate example I mentioned earlier. A lot of realtors love having voiceovers, right? And so what I was able to do was I was able to use ChatGPT in order to help me write a script for 11 Labs to create that voiceover. Now, here's the secret. All I did was go to the MLS website, which is where the realtors are actually hosting their listings anyway, and I just copied and pasted in not a pretty way all the information directly from MLS 
into ChatGPT and I told it to write me a script. From there, it gave me an incredibly detailed script. That was great, but I needed to get rid of all of the additional information that was there. So I told ChatGPT to remove all of the visual cues and put it in a paragraph format. From there, I copied that, pasted it into 11 Labs, and I was instantly given an amazing sounding voiceover. Literally, the first time. I didn't have to tweak anything, I didn't have to make any adjustments, and it sounded fantastic. Welcome to an exquisite home in Houston's vibrant Highland Heights Terrace, where modern living meets contemporary elegance. This impeccable single-family residence offers three bedrooms and 2.5 bathrooms across 1,806 square feet. If you're someone who shoots real estate videos, you can easily upsell your clients on this amazing voiceover for all their videos, instantly adding an additional $150 to $200 onto your price. And all it's gonna take you is just a few minutes of work using ChatGPT and 11 Labs in order to enhance the video overall. I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see people utilizing this technique in order to create short form content online because it makes it so much easier and you can do it so quickly. Now, regardless if you create content for others or you shoot it for yourself, I absolutely think that the next tool is going to revolutionize the way we look at content creation in general. See, I personally believe that most content creators should be creating long form content and then reutilizing that long form content into short form. And that is where this next tool really comes in handy. Now, there are tons of tools out now that are actually out there to basically take a long form podcast and to cut it into shorts. A few of the ones that I've tested out has been Caption, Munch, and Opus, but I think my favorite has to be Opus. The main reason being is that it's not only super easy to use, but it goes a little bit further in order to help you know which pieces of content are gonna perform better for you online. See, all you have to do is go to Opus's website and then upload your long form video. From there, it's gonna take a little bit of time, but once it's done, all you have to do is sit back and wait. It's going to do all of the heavy cutting. It's gonna pick different angles. It's gonna be able to cut your video. Even if you put it in there as a horizontal video, it'll be able to reframe it for vertical. And from there, it doesn't just cut it into individual shorts. It'll even add in those highly necessary captions, including emojis, and it'll even go as far as adding in specific colors to certain words that need to be emphasized in your captions. I absolutely love this tool because on top of doing all of that editing for you, it also will then take a look at the pieces of content that it creates and it'll give you a social score telling you how likely this piece of content is to be successful on social media. And you can see right here that I put in roughly a 40 minute video and it was able to give me over 20 pieces of content. Now, full transparency, not all 20 pieces are going to be amazing pieces. And quite frankly, I'm not going to post all of them because some of them are not all that great. But the ones that it rated really high really were fantastic pieces of content that I would love to share on my platform. So why did you decide to pivot away from the photo booth business? You know, for me, the, the photo booth business was never the end goal. The end goal was a video production company. The truth uh, is, is I don't think AI is going anywhere. In fact, I think that creators today are gonna be able to utilize it in order to really level up their content. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you either are or are considering being a full-time creator. And if you are, I think it is imperative that you start thinking about building your own platform that is separate from all of these social media platforms. And the best part is Uscreen is that all-in-one platform that lets you do everything. And they have so many different features. With Uscreen, you can build your own video membership website that aligns with your brand's aesthetic. You can launch your own apps on all the different platforms such as iOS, Android, Apple TV, Roku, and even Fire TV. You can engage with your subscribers via a real-time professional looking live stream, which comes complete with countdowns as well as a live chat. My favorite part is the fact that this allows you to actually showcase your content in a way that works well for you. So unlike being like here on YouTube, where along the side, there are like tons of other videos that people might wanna click off of. With Uscreen, you can actually showcase your content and design it the best way needed in order to engage both new and existing members. And with Uscreen, you can choose to monetize it however you like. You can do one-time purchases, subscription purchases, individual video sales, 
even video rentals. And as I mentioned earlier, you can even monetize your own live events. As far as I'm concerned, Uscreen is the platform if you are a content creator to build your business on. It's the best place for creators to build that revenue generating business because let's face it, you're already creating content, but with Uscreen, you can really dial it in because it's your platform and you can make it however you like. Now, clearly I'm biased because as I mentioned before, I built my platform, the Creative Fam Academy using Uscreen and full transparency, I actually chose Uscreen as my platform and started working on my platform before Uscreen ever decided to even sponsor one of my videos. So. I can honestly say that if you are a creator and you are thinking about how to build your own platform or how to start monetizing your content, I strongly recommend you check out Uscreen. And of course, I'll have links down below in the description to check them out because it's worth it. I'd love to know what are your favorite AI tools? Which ones are you using in order to enhance your video creation process or just to help your business overall? Please leave those down in the comments down below. As I mentioned, I have been researching over a hundred AI tools. So if you guys enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. So that way I will know that this is the type of content you guys want me to continue to make on this platform. Huge shout out and thank you to all of the members of the Creative Fam Academy who help make videos like this possible. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.